परंपरां श्रुतिश्रुतिपुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तमाषा वह ये ओं शांत शांत शांति धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्या प्रकृति धातुब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंड व्यक्त संभव हंडस्यांतस्तोका सप्तद्वीपा चीदी सो लास्ट पाठ वी सो दी सिक्स श्लोक इन दी नाइन्थ चैप्टर यथा आकाश स्थित निम वायु सर्वत्र गो महान तथा सर्वाणी भूता मत्सानीपधारय सो एक्सापल वॉज गिवन जस्ट लाइक वायु दट महान वायु हु गोज एवरीवेर मीनिंग ही इज प्रेजेंट एवरीवेर दी ऑल परवेजिव वायु इज ऑलवेज एक्सिस्टेंट इन स्पेस इन आकाश Similarly, all beings are in me, and we saw the example covers the vyapakatva between the akasha used as an example and exemplified atma or ishara. Thereby, comparison <coughs> shows. Sorry, comparison shows that akasha is one, eka. So, ekatva. Similarly, Atma is one, Paramatma is one. Akasha has no roopa, Paramatma has no roopa. Akasha is vyapaka, Paramatma is vyapaka. Akasha cannot be divided by upadis, by any walls you build, any pots you build, or any thing that you think segments Akasha does not segment Akasha at all. Similarly. Paramatma cannot be segmented by various Deva upadis, upadis of Rakshasas, upadis of Manusya, or any other Sharira, Prani or Vruksha Sharira cannot segment Paramatma. That Paramatma, which is Atma, is only one. And similarly, here specifically in this context, Bhagwan is going to say, he is going to refute the. Uh, refute a purva pakshi or purva paksha as to how he remains asanga couple of shlokas later so asangatva also just like akasha remains completely free from vayu although vayu needs akasha akasha does not need vayu to complete itself so vayu is placed in akasha anything to for anything to be or uh, to manifest there is space needed and that astitva is borrowed from akasha the substratum is borrowed from akasha and akasha itself borrows it from parmatma thereby the way akasha remains completely free from vayu although vayu is there space is not affected by vayu because you can have wind which is carrying fragrance or some Uh, some bad smell but akasha does not get tainted or it does not become fragrant by fragrance it remains unattached asanga so asangatva is also compared there between akasha and similarly parmatma or atma is also unaffected by any atma or any dharmas of atma so that was the sixth shloka and iti tvam upadharaya this is the teaching you understand parmatma atma my swarupa says bhagwan krishna to arjuna you understand it in this manner what was said yathoktena shloka dvayena uktam artham drishtantena upapadena ah so six shloka summed up what was said in the fourth and fifth shloka with an example evam vayuhu 
आकाशे इव मई स्थितानि सर्वभूतानि स्थिति काले नाउ दिस इज व्हाट है इज द करंट सिनेरियो व्हेन देयर इज दिस एग्जिस्टेंट वर्ल्ड द वर्ल्ड इज एग्जिस्टेंट and you are objectifying the world you are interacting transacting the, with the prapancha thereby you see all these bhutas and these bhutas that you objectify all the uh, elements elementals as well as beings all that you can objectify are present in me when this world is manifest it is created tan those now how do they come into being now is it is it that all these being sar- sarvabhuta and all these beings as well as elements are existent in me only during sthiti kala so there the seventh shloka is introduced in the ninth chapter sarvabhutani kaunteya prakritiy yanti mahamikam kalpakshe punastani kalpadau visrjamyaham so in the earlier chapters this was mentioned it was shown as to how Uh, the day of brahma and the night of brahma was explained in the earlier chapters there at the end of the day of brahma chaturmukha brahma the entire prapancha is resolved into prakriti and then in the next kalpa uh, when not in the next kalpa but there are various types of layas we saw various types of pralayas in one during the day of brahma they are recreated or remanifest and then when brahma chaturmukha brahma sleeps during his night they are resolved and then when brahma himself uh, comes to the end of his term when his prarabdha is exhausted or whatever his term is that time even his sharira is resolved thereby and all lokas are resolved so brahma creates chaturmukha brahma here what has been said sarvabhutani he kaunteya he kaunteya what is the verb here yanti in plural prathama purusha bahuvachana they attain so we need something in plural that is sarvabhutani all the beings attain he kaunteya he kaunteya what do they attain so you need a karma yanti yeah. so yanti prayanti gachanti ityartha they attain what do they attain so you need karma in second case that is trilinga here prakriti so they attain prakriti they merge with prakriti that is the idea here all the beings merge with prakriti when kalpakshe at the end of a, of the kalpa at the end of the kalpa when the kalpa comes to an end the turn comes to an end all the yugas whatever calculation is that comes to an end then all of these beings elements and elements everything is resolved everything is resolved into prakriti maya and what is that prakriti that prakriti is bhagwan shakti ishwara shakti therefore mamikam ishwara wields his shakti maya prakriti so mamika is connected to him so it is mama shakti ityartha mama prakriti mamika prakriti is mama prakriti it is my own shakti says bhagwan krishna kalpakshe punah again punah tani kalpadu visrujami aham so visrujami is the word i create earlier what was said earlier chapter it was said that brahma creates really he is the creator chaturmukha brahma so it is brahma is just one manifestation of ishwara so there is no difference really the creator sustainer vishnu and the they say the destroyer who uh, manifest shiva through his tandava all three are just aspects of same parmatma they cannot be different so people who keep on fighting vaishnavas versus shaiva, shaivas they keep on fighting fighting based on purana purana is for one to make his shraddha drida 
if i am a shiva bhakta or say shiva is my kula devata then i should be doing shiva puja does not mean i should not do any other puja even if you say i should not do any other puja i should not show anyone down i should not be saying that vishnu is is not as great as shiva the idea is to show that in shiva purana shiva will be shown as great so that you gain more bhakti towards shiva and then over a period of time you will get chitta shuddhi to understand shiva is no different from that ishwara who has manifested even as vishnu or brahma similarly on the vaishnava side they have their own uh, puranas vishnu puranas padma purana they will start quoting those and say that shiva did vishnu puja same thing whether shiva did vishnu puja or vishnu did shiva puja or shiva won over vishnu in some fight or other way around it is all irrelevant to a vedantin because finally they are just manifestations of some aspect of parmatma and if you take it forward similarly all devatas devis or even human beings are all manifestations of the same parmatma in with various aspects with various karma to exhaust and in that trap of trying to exhaust the karma one starts generating more and more karma that is a trap you cannot get off this karma train when it is moving you have to put an end to that through karma yoga so thereby the phala tyaga should be done and then karma itself should be offered to the lord then that karma yoga will bring a stop to the karma that train of karma which is going on and then you can alight that train of samsara but till then this creation cycle will continue and that is mentioned here as kalpakshe punah tani eva tani sarvabhutani those very sarvabhutani kalpadau kalpakshe sarvabhutani prakriti myanti tani sarvabhutani kalpadau at the beginning of another kalpa aham visrjami so now in which case would this tani if you bring sarvabhutani tani that will take second case because visrjami aham visrjami aham is a karta aham visrjami i remanifest or recreate tani tani eva sarvabhutani kalpadau at the beginning of kalpa so what's the anvaya here he kaunteya kunti putra sarvabhutani prakruti myanti that is the basic sentence and the prakruti has an adjective mamikam when kalpakshaye so kalpakshaye sarvabhutani mamikam prakruti myanti then aham kalpadu punah tani aham visrujami aham visrujami aham tani visrujan so that's the anvaya here <coughs> the next shloka introduction says evam avidya lakshanam what is this prakruti prakruti is avidya lakshana prakruti avidya is the definition actually the same maya at an individual level is called as avidya so ta evam avidya lakshanam prakrutim that prakruti maya which is avidya lakshana prakrutim swamavashtabhya visrjami punah punah bhuta gramam evam krishnam avasham prakrutir vashat so prakrutim swam avashtabhya visrjami visrjami is the word so is the word aham visrjami i create this kalpadau so <coughs> kalpadau aham visrujami 
now he says how do i create this prapancha how do i manifest this prapancha swam prakritim avashtabhya swam prakritim so mami kam swam same meaning my own prakriti is my own shakti so swam prakritim avashtabhya having brought under control so avashtabhya levanta having wielded it basically the meaning would be having wielded my own prakriti what happens he says uh, visrujami aham visrujami what you need karma here he, earlier what was said so aham tani sarva bhutani tani visrujami here bhuta gramam in singular as a group bhut gram sarva bhutani or group of all bhuta sarva bhuta gramam the entire grama is it's a group group of what bhuta so bhuta nam gramam punah punah aham visrjami and what is this? krishnam entirely everything is created and what is said here is avasham avasham so krishnam imam krishnam bhuta gramam im punah punah again and again so it is not once this kalpa keeps on ending and then when each kalpa ends there is a rest period after which again it is this prapancha is recreated bhuta grama all bhuta sarva bhutani they are recreated or manifest again so what is the anvaya here there is only one word here visrujami so visrujami aham visrujami aham visrujami what prat says bhuta gramam swam prakritim avashtabhya bringing my own prakriti under control aham visrujami punah punah again and again so the basic sentence would be aham visrujami i create then you supply the karma what is that bhuta gramam so you bring bhuta gram aham bhuta gramam visrujami so that is your basic sentence aham bhuta gramam visrujami then punah punah again and again i created again and again so swam prakriti mavastabhya having brought my own prakriti under control i wield it and then i recreate all these uh, the group of all the beings and then you supply the pronouns there imam krishnam this entire aham imam krishnam bhuta gramam this entire group of beings i recreate visrujami now see avashtabhya avashtabhya shows that something is brought under control so bhagwan has a say over this avidya lakshana prakriti it is avidya lakshana prakriti all right but he wields it he does not come under the influence of maya or prakriti because it is his own shakti he knows how to control it thereby he controls that avidya lakshana prakriti thereby avastabhya swam prakriti mavastabhya whereas others others meaning those who take themselves to be individual separate from ishara due to this prakriti maya shakti which is avidya lakshana due to that influence of avidya they become segmented individualized so that parmatma himself as though 
becomes individualized and once individualized then this swam prakriti that which is his own shakti is no longer under his control because he is no longer paramatma he is as though reflected in the antakkarana and as though limited thereby as though under the influence of avidya thereby the same paramatma who is as though under the influence as an individual he becomes really influenced so avasham becoming this limited associating with the limited upadi as do the the way the way the surya or chandra is reflected in the, a body of water there are many chandras and suryas one may see because the the water body is moving or if you just keep uh, pots of water or buckets of water and then in each bucket of water there will be a uh, there will be a surya a separate surya even if the water is still there will be a separate surya in each bucket or each pot of water if you think that is the surya then you can count as many suryas as there are buckets of water thereby this surya has become segmented the same surya who is the real surya has become this limited surya in bucket of water whereas surya cannot be contained even by prithvi how can you contain him in a single bucket of water or a pot of water but any small body of water can contain that surya as do similarly any small insect body or even you know uh, microscopic body can limit this parmatma as do thereby parmatma becomes jiva that jiva in each and every body now is under the influence of prakruti which at the macro level is under his control that avidya lakshana prakruti at the micro level at an individual level the same atma becomes under the influence of prakruti one who wields this prakruti has somehow magically come under its influence and thereby become limited thereby this avidya which has this avarna shakti as well as vikshepa shakti project this prapancha projects various beings same parmatma configured as various beings and we find ourselves limited and then under the influence of prakriti prakriti he vashat so prakriti he vashat avasham here avashtabhya at the micro level at the macro level at the universal level bhagwan is wielding his shakti bringing it under his control whereas at an individual level same parmatma becoming jivatma he is avasha prakriti under the influence of so this avashtabhya prakrutim avashtabhya you split those and remove that nanj there not nanj really but if you can read vasha here then avasha he has made prakriti avasha but here vashat at an individual level prakriti he vashat under the influence of so vashat under the influence of due to influence or panchami we can say due to the influence of what so of this will become shashti so prakriti cannot be panchami prakriti he prakriti he vashat vashat here you see pullinga prakriti strilinga so under the influence of prakriti of prakriti <coughs> avasham 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 here adverbial sense this or as karma krutsnam this entire okay so prakriti he vashat under the influence of prakriti and then avasham krishnam imam krishnam this entire objectifiable prapancha is under including beings are under the influence of prakriti and they are avasham means helpless helplessly under the influence of it is not that i will given to give into prakriti i submit myself unto it no i am helpless 
how much how much ever free will i have you know so you say he is a great will power but still helpless that will power is useless in many cases you you have bandwidth up to that extent you can utilize the free will but the surroundings you can't you can change yourself maybe but you cannot change the surroundings you can try but then under the influence of prakriti i get carried away i the first carrying getting carried away is individualizing becoming individualized and thereby segmented seeing this prapancha as varied and then all the purusharthas follow so that is the shloka here eighth shloka so swam prakriti mavastavya aham imam krishnam bhuta gram puna puna visrujami and then how avasham what is this imam krishnam avasham bhuta gramam how avasham prakrute vashat prakrute vashat avasham under the influence of helpless under the influence of we can move this prakrute aham prakrute vashat avasham imam krishnam bhuta gramam punah punah visrujami so that's the anvaya there swam prakriti mavastavya bringing my own prakriti maya shakti under control which is avidya lakshana aham prakrute he vashat avasham that imam krishnam bhuta gramam which is under the influence it is helpless under the influence of prakriti which is avidya lakshana i create this entire prapancha or all the beings so that the anvaya here the next shloka <coughs> sorry this is a purva paksha now there may be a question this avidya lakshana prakriti is there that prakriti affects atma it affects atma how it does it all this is magical but it does affect atma avidya lakshana prakriti which itself is anatma because avidya lakshana prakriti maya cannot be said to be atma if it is not atma then what is it for the sake of simplicity we will say it is not atma so anatma some other some kind of nunch not atma that's it if it is not atma and it can have influence over atma at an individual level be it so then why is it that it does not have an effect on paramatma the reason i am born is because there is some bhoga karma bhoga to be done for that karma bhoga this prapancha is configured and created in keeping with each and every persons or every every beings karma ripe for fructification thereby this kalpa and this uh, particular in this particular time i am born in this particular family in this particular body with this particular surround, surroundings in this particular village or whatever in this country whatever so this is true for each and every being thereby this prapancha is the way it is now there is karma bhoga to be done that karma bhoga karma phala bhoga came from karma thereby that karma is something that i do now visrujami there is a sruj dhatu there sitting there you create something i created something i made something and then there is this karma i have to do upabhoga of that karma phala as atma thereby i am forced to take avasham i am forced to take janma why not bhagwan he is also atma i am even if you say that i am jeevatma still that atma shabd is sitting there individualized atma so so to say individualized and parmatma is superior atma if you say superior in the way that he is the universal tatva but sruj dhatu is there if atma has done some karma then that atma is bound and then as the bound is all vyavaharika satta he is bound and takes janma to do bhoga thereby tarhi tasya te parmeshwarasya tarhi meaning in that case 
if what you say if i understand you right that you created means there is some karma involved now you are creating this prapancha the way it is along with all the beings so that they can undergo bhoga that's what i understand however since you have created you have some association with this now thereby you have become bound in one way or the other tarhi tasya te parmeshwarasya te tava parmeshwarasya sashti ek vachana tasya tasya parmeshwarasya who you are that parmeshwara that you talking you are talking about who creates this and thereby you have said this in uttav purusha krishna is saying it in uttav purusha visrjami so saha parmeshwara tomasi you are that thereby tasya te tava parmeshwarasya bhuta gramam imam vishamam vidhatatah who is that vidad vidadhat vidadhan you who are creating this shashti ek vachana in uh, इन सामनाधिकरण वि ते एंड तस्य एंड परमेश्वर से तस्य विदधता परमेश्वर से एंड विदधता हु इज विधाता दैट काइंड ऑफ अ विधाता दैट यू आर विषमम विदधता इमम भूतग्रामम विषमम भूतग्राम इमम विषमम इज दिस वैरायटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड दिस वेरीड वर्ल्ड दैट यू हैव वर्ल्ड दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड हु इज अ सपोर्टर ऑफ दैट नरीशर एज़ वेल you are the vidhata karma phala data also so that kind of parmeshwara that you are tan nimitta abhyam dharma dharma abhyam sambandhasya iti iti prashne sati if this kind of a question be raised as you have connection sambandha with dharma and adharma why because you have created it if you have created something you cannot separate yourself from karma karma phala because dharma and adharma are generated now because you have created this prapancha full of dharma adharma thereby you are also having some association sambandhasya tava sambandhasya parmeshwarasya tava parmeshwarasya tannimitta abhyam dharma adharma abhyam tannimitta abhyam is srishti nimitta abhyam because of creating you are associated with dharma and adharma so you will also have punya papa parmeshwara you will also have why is it that krishna will not have he will have karma this is the question syad iti this is the purva paksha idam ah bhagwan expecting this kind of a thinking by anyone idam ah bhagwan idam ah the ninth shloka na cha mantani karmani nibaddhanti dhananjaya उदासीन वदासीन असक्त कर्मसु नानी कर्मा निबंधती हे धनंजय उदासीन वसीन असक्त कर्मसु सॉरी सो न बट इफ यू थिंक न तानी कर्मा निबंधंती निबंधंती इज दर्ब यूर सो निबंधंती प्लूरल सो तानी कर्मा गोज इन फर्स्ट केस नाउ तानी कर्मा न निबंधंती न सो तानी च कर्मा मां न निबंधंती सो दे डू नॉट बाइंड दे डू नॉट बाइंड हूम और वॉट हियर मां इज देर सो हू दे डू नॉट dvikarmaka nibadanti will become dvikarmaka here they do not bind me so you can ask dvikarmaka dhatu there you can ask bandha so this is bandha so na nibadanti or nibadanti they bind or they do not bind they means who karta here so uh, not dvikarmaka sorry uh, nibadanti will uh, I, i thought about causative sorry so it is uh, not uh, uh, not dvikarmaka sakarmaka so sakarmaka dhatu so here you can ask so they don't bind they karta tani karmani they do not bind whom mam they do not bind me 
सो दिस इज द बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्ट हियर तानी च तानी च कर्माणी माम न निबद्धनंती न विल गो विथ द वर्ब सो दिस इज हे धनंजय संबोधन यू कैन पुट इन द बिगिनिंग हे धनंजय ओ धनंजय दीज कर्मस ऑल दीज कर्मस whether you think of visrujami that karma or all the karmas done by the beings they don't affect me just because i have created so here hetu karta if you look at it is hetu karta tan nimitta abhyam you can also think of hetu karta if let's say let's take a scenario of a crime now if, let's say there is a crime some crime is and uh, is conducted and somebody is arrested he is caught in the crime and that person is being judged upon in the court he says that i did it because someone else some person so a is arrested he says b told me so due to so he says let's say mitra is arrested he says chaitra maitra is arrested so maitra says i did it all right but then i did not do it of my own accord i was made to do so chaitra forced me chaitra forced me and i did it then chaitra also is a hetu karta since he prodded this fellow to steal he he had a uddesha so he will be bound as well sambandha is there so dharma dharma abhyam sam adharma sambandha is there or someone makes you do some good things then you did it of it on own accord you get some punya then someone asks you how did you come about to know about this i mean how did you come to know about this say that someone told you then that person also gets some credit so dharma dharma sambandha is there for a hetu karta also so he dhananjaya tani karmani maam na nibaddanti although he is a hetu karta parmatma they don't bind him why so because he does not want any credit he does not want any credit he is udasina vat asina he is asinam in second case all this will go with mam mam asinam one who is remaining asina is sanajanta asdatu sanajanta will get asinam asinam mam one who is remaining how udasina was as though detached like somebody who is detached not as though who is detached like someone who is detached udasina is also as that we are as utpurvaka as will as with shana will give you asinam utpurvaka as will give you udasina utpurvaka as plus shana will give you udasina then vating pratya vating means like eva so udasina udasinam eva asinam mam one who is sitting completely as if like someone who is unattached neutral he is neutral whether someone succeeds or fails he just says this is your karma because you deserve this now this is your karma phala this is your circumstance you act the way you want to act i'll help you make it happen how help you by near satya and spurti this parmatma who is atma by his satya and spurti heal just make whatever you want happen based on whatever circumstances you find yourself so you use your free will but that satya and spurti makes it happen thereby the hetu karta who gives you satya and spurti by being udasina he is not bound the hetu karta is not bound the karta is bound karta becomes bhokta hetu karta does not become bhokta because there is no hetu bhokta so udasinam adasinam asaktam teshu karmasu asaktam he is completely unattached to those karmas that becomes the hetu for him to not be bound parmatma or atma really if you understand that as atma that is atma also he dhananjay tani cha karmani mam na nibaddanti kasmat karanat udasinam adasinam bhavami iti idi karana because of this reason that i am उदासीन वद आसीन आसीनो भवामी आसीन मी सेकंड के स्वासीन भवामी 
that is the hetu here so this can go as adjective to mam udasinavad asinam mam and thereby this becomes a hetu garbha visheshana to mam here visheshana to mam is udasinavad asinam it should all go in this sequence only you cannot put asinam somewhere else udasinavat asinam i am asina like udasina that's the meaning and thereby udasinad asinam and thereby what he has become asakta he is neutral teshu karma su teshu karma su udasinavat asinam so so you see this is chain of hetu here first the construct is what tani krucha karmaani mam na nibadanti then you ask why why don't they bind you i these karmas do not bind me why don't they bind me because i am asakta i am unattached or teshu karma su asaktam i am unattached to both you can say asaktam can have teshu karma su asaktam i am unattached unto those karmas and why so why why am i unattached because i am staying as though neutral to them i don't care whether the karma succeeds or it doesn't succeed because i am really not a karta parmatma from the perspective of parmatma and then you understand the parmatma perspective as atma perspective because parmatma is atma then you also be, become udasina vadasina as a karma yogi also that's the beginning step of karma yoga teshu karma su udasina vadasinam ततः असक्तम देर बाय तेषु कर्म सुअसक्तम माम तानि च कर्माणि न निबद्धन्ति दिस इज द अन्वय देर फर्दर द नेक्स्ट श्लोक इज इंट्रोड्यूस बाय भगवान भाष्यकार बाय सिंह तत्र भूत ग्रामम इमम विसृजामि उदासीन व दासीनम इति च विरुद्धम उच्यते हाउ कैन यू से दैट आई क्रिएट Visrujami, there is a karma involved, and you are claiming that aham Visrujami, I created, I create this entire prapancha, bhuta gram, even all that you can objectify, this entire group of objectified objects, all the objects, meaning the entire prapancha, I create. You are claiming Visrujami. How can you not be a karta? Then you say udasin udasinam. I am completely neutral to all this. how can you create and be neutral it is a viruddha muchyate how can you be completely a karta a creator as well as unattached a neutral person completely you know detached to all this it is a viruddha it is contradictory it is a pariharartham ah expecting this confusion that it is there is apparent contradiction bhagwan says i create and then he says i don't care in other words in other words i don't care he says i create but i don't really care whether the result of all the karma after creation whatever people are doing whether they succeed or fail i don't really care i give them i don't care means i don't take action based on partiality there there is no raga dvesha involved whatever is due to them at that point of time based on their sum total of karma ripe for fructification then including whatever karma they do for parihara of whatever dosha or to get something else whatever they are doing right now at that moment each and every moment whatever prarabdha is fructifying that is a sum total of actions which affect that moment based on that i give the result something else was due but the person acted with free will he became a karta for some dosha some papa was going to result but he did lot of japa lot of dana lot of punya karma thereby it had lessened the effect of the earlier papa so bhagwan gave him a better phala then what was due or lesser uh, the the papa effect had lessened so he gave the result without any partiality there or without any kartrutva bhava on his side 
from his perspective there by udasina so it is tat pariharartham ah so really is he playing it is he really creating that atma how can it become udasina when it is karta so he is not really a karana he hetu karta all that we explain at the vyavaharika level but he is not really jagat karta at all jagat phaladata at one level we say that without having ragadvesha he does he creates also without ragadvesha he gives phala also without ragadvesha but does he really create and does he really give phala, karma phala at the parmarthika level so who is really acting who is creating iti tat parihararatham ah this contradiction has to be resolved therefore bhagwan says in the 10 shloka maya jakshena prakriti suryate sacharacharam hetu nanena kaunte jagad viparivartate so prakriti suyate i don't really create he says finally at the parmarthika level parmatma is not really creating as parmatma is parabrahma who is nirguna so those who object to nirguna brahma maya adyakshana prakriti suyate he he is not creating so he is not really a creator if you look at it earlier he says visrujami then he says udasina what how do i understand this contradiction yeah i create but then i appear to create that creation is there thereby we have to bring in prakriti so prakriti is one who is really acting in my presence and this is what sankhya also says prakriti creates but he says maya adhyakshena pra- sankhya misses this maya adhyakshena that consciousness backing this maya adhyakshena is that nirguna brahma satatva chittatva backing prakriti prakriti jada prakriti cannot do anything so that adhyaksha the under the satta and spurti of the parabrahma tattva which is nirguna really that satta spurti is its swarupa not guna under under the presence of that in that is influencing that is bringing this jada tattva to life as though and thereby prakriti suyate suyate prasuyate it, it creates what sacharacharam chara and achara sah sah bhauri so chara charena sah suyate whether it is moving or unmoving everything that is created which is bhuta gram sacharacharam bhuta gram prakriti suyate prakriti creates so prakriti hi suyate basic sentence kartari prayoga creates sacharacharam it creates everything that is there how maya adhyakshena adhyakshena and maya both are in third case but they are not in samana dikaranya so it is uh, <coughs> sorry maya adhyakshena prakriti suyate we keep on adding first prakriti suyate kim suyate what does prakriti create it creates sacharacharam idam everything that is there jagat basically jagat jagat suyate sacharacharam jagat suyate or if, if you take this maya adhyakshena so both put together you can make one hetu so hetu tritiya you can say adhyakshena due to my presiding due to the Uh, my being the wielder of prakriti how not by kartrutva bhava so adhyaksha this adhyakshena we'll just look at the look at what bhagwan bhashyakara says there si maya adhyakshena sarvatah drushi matra swarupena drushi matra is sakshi matra sakshi matra which is chidmatra chinmatra swarupena avikriya atmana without being any any kriya so this is this vivarta karana how can there be vivarta karana where where is there no change in the karana where do you see that that is possible only if it is change at the chit level means no change 
that is jnana level, jnana no, like sopna. In sopna you don't undergo any change but still there is prapancha. So materially there is nothing which has changed, you don't change anything, you don't undergo any change but then adhisthana without undergoing any change becomes this entire sopna prapancha, you become a one limited being in the dream as a dreamer, then you have lot of people who are there but you this dreamer, you as dreamer consider yourself as a waker in the dream and there are this entire sopna prapancha, all that with its sacharachara beings, all these whether are they moving or immovable, all those are just your own manifestation. How? Without undergoing change, the waker himself becomes the dreamer, the sleeper and this entire prapancha in Sapnavastha. Similarly, Bhagavan Drishimatra Surupena, who is just watching this entire creation as a dream. Drishimatra Surupena. So that drives home the point, Derva Avikriyatmana. This Adhyakshena, Avikriyatmana Adhyakshena, even the presiding over would undergo some change. But this presiding over is how? Avikriyatmana because he is only Chinmatra Swarupa, Sakshi Matra. He is not undergoing any change. Mama Maya Trigunatmika Avidya Lakshana Prakriti Suyati. This Prakriti which is Avidya Lakshana which is also Trigunatmika. Such uh, uh, Sattva Rajas and Tamas, these are the components of this uh, Prakriti, Maya. Suyati means Utpadeti, Sacharacharam Jagat Suyate. This entire Prapancha, Jagat, sorry, Jagat, Jagat Suyate, He Kaunteya, O Kaunteya, this entire Prapancha, this. Uh, Sacharacharam Jagat Maya Adhyakshana Prakriti Suyate Anena Hetuna Anena Hetuna due to this Anena Hetuna This Jagat Vipari Vartate This So Jagat here uh, Jagat ka, can be reused here Jagat if you don't reuse then it will be only one It will be uh, it will remain in first case. So here you see, Tathacha Mantra Varnaha, he quotes, Mantra Varnaha means there is a statement, Mantra, Upanishad Mantra, what does it say? Tatha, similarly in, in keeping with uh, whatever the shloka is, the shloka is paraphrasing some idea which is there in, uh, in the Upanishad or what Bhagavan Bhashyakara is saying that is, the explanation of this shloka, this Trigunatmika Vidya Lakshana and Drishimatra Sarupena Vikriya Atmana Maya Adhyakshena, this glossing over is justified by quoting an Upanishad mantra, which is a Shvetashvatara Upanishad mantra, Eko Deva Sarva Bhuteshu Gudaha Sarva Vyapi Sarva Bhutantaratma Karma Adhyaksha Sarva Bhutadivasa Sakshi Keta Kevalo Nirgunascha. So, Kevalaha Nirgunaha, that is the reason he says Drishimatra Swarupa. Paramatma is Cheta Sakshi, Sakshi Drishimatra, and Sakshi Drishi. Uh, there is a Yoga Sutra also. Uh, Drashta Drishimatra, part of uh, Yoga Sutra, not a complete Sutra, but one Sutra has these words Drashta Drishimatra. He is Drishimatra, Drishi is, he is only Sakshi. Or one who is seer, he is also the act of seeing. The entire Triputi is one, thereby Yoga Sutra also has an Advaitic Bhava there. Drishimatra Sarupa, Chidrupa, and that Sakshi Cheta Kevalaha, he is Kevala. Kaivalya Pada in Yoga also, last Pada is Kaivalya Pada, Kevalaha, Nirgunaha. Nirgunascha is Nirguna, all this Sat, this Sakshi, being Sakshi, this Cheta, Chit Swarupa, all these are, this Swarupa, these words are explaining the definition, Lakshana. And Sarvabhuta Adivasaha, Adivasati, one who remains in all beings as, as Aham, 
कर्माध्यक्ष हु प्रिसाइड ओवर ऑल कर्मास बाय गिविंग इट सत्ता एंड स्फूर्ति दैट इज कर्माध्यक्ष मयाध्यक्ष इज दैट कर्माध्यक्ष हु इज दैट दैट परमात्मा हु रिसाइड्स इन ऑल बींग्स एज अहम हु इज रियली साक्षी चेतक केवल निर्गुण हि इज सर्वव्यापी एक हि इज एक देर आर नॉट मल्टीपल देर इज ओनली वन देव हु इज देर इन ऑल बींग्स एज अहम सर्वभूतेशु गुण हु इज हिडन एंड बींग हिडन वन कन्सिडर्स वन सेल्फ एज द प्रोजेक्टेड लिमिटेड बींग हु बाइंड्स हिमसेल्फ विथ इंटेलेक्ट विथ बुद्धि विथ मन विथ प्राण इत्यादि देर वाय बिकम्स अ कर्ता भोक्ता हु इज सर्वभूतांतरात्मा सर्वव्यापी रियली हु इज देर इन ऑल एज वन एंटिटी मैनिफेस्टिंग as one single entity but hidden and thereby manifesting as though individual jeevas as many there are dehas so iti hetuna nimittena due to anena hetuna due to this reason adhyakshatvena hetuna anena adhyakshetvena hetuna because this adhyakshatva is the hetu due to which prakriti create kaunte jagat sacharacharam vyakta vyaktatmakam viparivartate sarvavasthasu it keeps on continuing and viparivartate it keeps on undergoing changes and undergoes parivartana and continues to live on this is what happens maya adhyakshana prakriti hi sacharacharam jagat suyate so jagat and sacharacharam becomes second case there then you bring in for the next sentence also if you reuse then you will have to say हे कौंतेय अनेन हेतुना सचराचरम जगत विपरिवर्तते देर सचराचरम जगत न्यूटर अगेन बिकम्स फर्स्ट केस सो यू कैन रियूज दैट फॉर क्लैरिटी वील मेन्शन इट ट्वाइस मया अध्यक्षण प्रकृति ही सचरा चरम जगत सूयते एंड देन अनेन 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 व्हाट इज दट हेतु अध्यक्षत्वेन अध्यक्षत्वेन हेतुना जगत सचराचरम जगत अगेन सचरा चरम जगत विपरिवर्तते इट कंटिन्यूज टू एक्सिस्ट अंडर गोइंग चेंजेस हे कौनते वी कैन ऐड इन द बिगिनिंग सो दैट द अन्वय हियर anything left no that's it yeah uh, so that's that closes one topic and then uh he picks up another topic there which we'll continue in the next part of 11 shloka onwards नारायण प्रोक्त एनी क्वेश्चन ओके सॉल्व सी इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा नमस्ते